I'm going to make a lot of contradicting statements in this video because, frankly, I'm torn with Diablo 4 Season 5 so far. You see, tonight in my Diablo 4 grind, I stopped my stream early because I hit the boredom wall. Now, some of it was because I changed from my Sork going from Chain Lightning to Fireball. And without a proper setup, it felt sluggish and slow. Now, totally understandable. It's not the build's fault. It's a viable build. I just didn't have the proper setup. So, of course, naturally, it's going to slow things down. It's going to feel sluggish. I understand that and totally get it. But the other contributing factor was Diablo 4 continues to be the same grind 1 to 50. Hell tights, hell tights, hell tights. Now, I'm going to talk 50 to 100 later on in the video, but only 48 hours in, and I'm confused, and I'm torn. There are a lot of good things that I see happening in Season 5, but every so often during the grind, I hit that, I've been here and done that feeling over and over sprinkled throughout the grind. Now, with every season comes the seasonal content and also a season campaign. Now, thank God the seasonal campaign in season five was a very enjoyable one. And thank God it was there. And it actually delayed my hitting the boredom wall. But I am torn. There's two Sammies here right now. The one that continues to hit that boredom wall, been there, done that, because of the repetitiveness of the Diablo 4 grind. And I understand, don't come at me with every ARPG has a grind and things, you got to do things over and over. I get it, but I'll try to explain that talking point later on. I don't know what to do. So in this video, I'm going to try to explain my craziness. Now, before we get into that, a lot of you continue to watch my content, but yet do not subscribe. If you could hit the subscription button, I would really appreciate the support of my content. All right, buckle up, get some popcorn. We're gonna get into some crazy Sammy time. Here we go. Okay, so there's two Sammies here. Crazy Sammy who, hates, who hits the boredom wall, and then there's fun time Sammy who loves playing RPGs and grinding the crap out of games. So let's look at the Happy Sammy first regarding Season 5. A lot of great things. Number one, it's extremely fast to level up to 100. I personally think it's a little too fast. However, I think it needs to be tempered down. But leveling to 100 quick, that is great because, as we know, there are a, there is a huge casual player base uh, for Blizzard in Diablo 4. So obviously they want to appeal to that audience. So the fact that they're making it a lot easier to get to 100 is going to be seen as a plus. A lot of players are going to love that. The seasonal content, the Infernal Hordes, the end game looks very good and actually is going to replace if people are wise, it's going to replace the monotony of running Nightmare Dungeons and over and over and over later on when you get into World Tier 4 and you're going from like 50 to 100. You don't have to do Nightmare Dungeons anymore. And we had to do them because of Glyph XP. Well, you can now earn Glyph XP, the Paragon board, while doing the Infernal Horde mechanic, which is a lot of fun. Tons, mob density is huge, it's quick, there's boss fights at the end, the rewards are good, all, all check mark, check mark, check mark. So it's nice, people are definitely going to gravitate to it. Let's be honest, nobody wants to do Nightmare Dungeons anymore. Well, not over and over and over. It's nice that you have the option now that you can do both and mix it up. So those are the good things. The other good thing that is really good shining through in season five is the fact that when you look at all these websites that have tier lists it looks like every single class rogue barb sork necro druid 
are all in the top tiers. They're all viable. They can all do the end game and do it well. So for once, it looks like class balance Diablo 4 Blizzard is getting closer and closer to making all the classes viable. Another check mark. So all good things. A lot of people are having fun. Now, that's fun time, Sammy. Crazy Sammy, the guy that keeps hitting the boredom wall, and I did it, like I said, literally. I, I'll be honest with you. I also hit it on day one, but I definitely hit it on day two. Now, a major contributor of that, like I stated in my opening monologue, was the fact that I changed my Sork from Chain Lightning to Fireball. And that was a huge contributor in that because I, time to kill was forever. I felt sluggish. I was I died a couple of times. Um, so obviously nobody feels good about that. However, that wasn't the only contributing factor. The other contributing factor was I, like I said, I hit you know been here, done that moment over and over, sprinkled throughout my grind so far, and I'm in my mid 60s again. I'm not a lightning fast leveler. That's not the way I play. I like to enjoy the content. So I take my time. However, this boredom wall is starting to scare me. It's only day two. I don't think I've ever hit a boredom wall so quick in a season, in a league, in a cycle. Now I play all the ARPGs, as you know. So I'm going a little back crazy here. There's a lot of good things in season five. But I've already hit this wall and I ended my stream tonight super early and I, I literally sat in this chair and now I'm recording this video because I'm still feeling it. What happened? Why am I feeling like this? Am, am, am I crazy? Uh, so we know the answer to that, but let's keep this, you know, appropriate to the point of this video. And that is, why am I feeling like this? And I think I have the answer. And again, everyone has their own tastes for video games. It's all a personal choice. I continue to say this every night on my streams because I am a victim of my own choices. I mean, what the hell does that mean, Sammy? What that means is, I'm the type of person everyone knows that's watched my content. I love ARPGs, among other types of genres, okay? But I mainly play ARPGs, and I look at things differently than some other players, where some players, they have this mentality that they pick a side. So you're either a Diablo 4 player, or you're a PoE, Last Epoch, whatever, player, okay? They pick a side, and they stay on that side, they defend that side, and if you're on that side, you're the enemy and you're full of crap. But I don't approach it like that. I wanna see all video games be fun and great. I wanna play them all. That's the opinion I take. And I enjoy all of them and I take all the good out of all the different ARPGs until I get bored and then I move on. So with that being said, why do I think I'm hitting the boredom wall? Again, this is my personal experience, guys. You may be loving it and having a great time in season five. Awesome. Great. Fill your boots. Good for you. This is my channel. I'm going to share. One of the reasons I started this channel was I wanted to share my opinion and my experiences in playing video games. And this is what I'm going through right now. So I'm going to share it with my community. I hope you'll listen and I hope you'll receive it with an open mind. Personally, I think the reason why I hit this boredom wall and that I'm not excited or at least super excited 100% of the time is the fact that Diablo 4 still lacks a couple of major components in order to make an ARPG, an S tier ARPG. And the following is what I believe it's lacking. It's lacking that aha moment with loot. You guys can tell me, oh, there's mystics in the game. There's the grandfather. There's this, there's that. I don't care what anyone tells me. Half of those mythics, 
they get used, they don't get used. The point that they get used, they don't get used just in itself tells you because in other games, when you get that, for example, POE, Headhunter, Mage Blood, you're going to wear it and you're going to build a build around it. Whereas I find in Diablo 4, the build comes first and the build dictates what gear you're going to equip. And that may or may not have mystic items in it. Now, I hope that makes sense. So I think it's missing the loot aha moments where you're grinding and grinding the game with the hopes that something amazing is going to drop. Call me crazy, guys. Does that exist in Diablo 4? I don't know. Maybe I'm off my rocker. And crafting and itemization in this game, although it's made major steps, is still leaps and like it's so far behind, it's not even funny. Now the tempering and the master working are huge steps. They have the foundation, but they need to build on that. It's nowhere near the itemization when it comes to the other two ARPGs. And I don't want to get into a shouting match with the D4 fanboys. I, I So I'm not going to mention that, but you guys already know who I'm talking about. Um, leaps and bounds behind. They got to move that forward. So... To me, with that missing, like to give you an example, in Diablo 2, when I played Diablo 2, whether it was my hardcore challenge or whether it was my uber challenge, every day I was grinding for that aha moment and that drop that I needed that was going to elevate my advancement towards completing that challenge, completing the challenge. That doesn't exist in Diablo 4. And until these mechanics do we are going to run into the same some of us that is are going to run into this been there done that moment now i want to end this video on the positive the fact that we now have something new to grind instead of nightmare dungeons from 50 to 100 and that being the infernal hordes and the fact that it's really fun mechanic and it looks like a lot of people are for and the challenge looks like is correlated with the rewards we are we can get our glyph xp through it like all check marks check marks so there are big time advancements made but i'm just sharing you sharing with you what i what i'm going through and the fact is i'm bored i want to share what i'm going through and that's what it is i'm crazy i know anyway let me know what you guys think are you guys experiencing any of this? Or are you guys just filling your boots? Season 5 is hitting all the marks. I know I can say with a lot of confidence because I have players coming into my stream every night and I hear the same things that I'm saying that they're bored, they're done, they're not even going to play it, it looks boring. Then I also have the other side where like, oh my God, I'm having so much fun. I'm going to, I already hit a hundred. I'm starting a second character. I'm going to try a B or C class. So I'm getting both. And herein lies the problem. I'm in the middle as well, sitting on the fence with two different experiences that are hitting me throughout this process so far. So just wanted to share that, but I would love to hear your experience. Anyway, that'll do it, everybody. Thank you for watching. And as always, we'll see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.